In this video, we're looking at the titration curve of a strong acid titrated with a strong base. Let's say we're titrating hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. The titration begins with the strong acid in the flask, so the pH starts very low. As we slowly add the strong base from the barrette, the hydroxide ions, or OH-, neutralize the H plus ions from the acid, forming water. The pH rises gradually at first because H plus ions are still in large excess. But here's what's important. As we approach the equivalence point, we're nearly finished neutralizing all the plus ions. Now, adding just a tiny bit more base causes a large change in pH. The curve rises very sharply near the equivalence point. The solution is rapidly switching from acidic to neutral. At the equivalence point, we have equal moles of acid and base. All the H plus and OH minus ions have neutralized each other, and the only thing left is water and a neutral salt like sodium chloride, NaCl. That's why the pH is exactly 7 at equivalence in a strong acid strong base titration. Beyond the equivalence point, the base is in excess. Now the OH minus ions dominate, and the pH climbs quickly into the basic range. In the exam, you'll need to recognize the following. A sharp vertical jump in the middle of the titration curve signals a strong acid strong base, and at the equivalence point, pH is always 7. You must understand why there is a sharp rise. It's because the pH scale is logarithmic. That means every one unit change in pH reflects a tenfold change in the concentration of H plus ions. So, when we get close to neutralization, the H plus concentration is very small and even a tiny addition of OH- will drastically reduce it, causing the pH to jump quickly. The starting pH is low for the strong acid, and the final pH is high due to excess base. You may be asked to identify the type of titration from a graph or estimate the volume of base required to reach equivalence. Finally, you may also be asked about the appropriate pH indicator to use. Since the equivalence point is at pH 7, you'd choose an indicator that changes color around neutral, such as bromothymol blue.